Hey guys, what's up? It's Lake here coming to with another video. Now today I'm gonna be showing you how to get any iPhone app. Um even if it's not in the app store or you don't wanna buy it, I don't suggest that, but you know, whatever. Um how I'm gonna use this is a Snapchat, it's Snapchat Plus Plus. I'm not actually gonna install anything on my iPhone though, because it shows serial numbers like um when you open the application. So what you need is uh just go to your search browser and type in City Impactor. Um, it is this tool. I'll leave all the links in the description. Um, and uh, as you can see, you're just going to download for your version. And um, say you want an IPA file, just look up IPA files. Um, and then you can go to a site like iPhoneMob.org. Um, and say there's a game or something you'd like, you can find it on here. Um, pocket edition any of that stuff you can get on here um, but I don't suggest it for that but uh, right here uh, is a Spotify plus plus app which is just a modified version of Spotify you basically open impactor open impactor and uh, make sure your iPhone's plugged in because it'll show uh, up on here but it'll have a really long serial number that you don't want anyone else to know because uh, that's your UDID and if someone knows that they can do all this type of stuff um, well really they can't they can just install stuff and become basically like an admin of your iPhone I guess um, it's kinda hard to explain but what you wanna do is you, you take your IPA file and you're just gonna drag it on top if with your iPhone and that's gonna show up because I don't have a device and uh, plugged in but if I did it would ask me for my Apple ID and this is just for signing so you can make an Apple ID if you don't wanna put in your real one um, because you think it's gonna get taken and it only goes to Apple I'm um, not to the actual group but um yes it'll go in it'll send it to your iPhone you'll have to go into after you install the application you have to go into general um, or settings general then down to profiles and then you'll see your Apple ID and you're gonna hit trust and then you can open that app because um, if you don't do that it'll say you, it's not trusted then you basically sideload any application on iPhone so uh, modified Spotify modified snapchat any of that stuff that's not on the App Store or is on the App Store to your iPhone which is really cool so thanks for watching guys please break comment, like subscribe usually you have to do this on a Mac because uh, this new tool wasn't out but uh, yeah it's out now so uh, thanks for watching guys please break comment, like subscribe I'll see you in the next few guys peace out